All right, greetings everyone. Welcome to another video with me, Umber Rays. And today I'm gonna to try and stay focused long enough to get the news out. And the news is out that we have a bunch of upgrades. So, all right, mm, let's just get right into it. Uh, first off, two upgrades, Master Ability 2s. Starting off with Ibarra, who is somewhere down here. Uh, Looking at her, HP up of 20%. Spirit Possession is strengthening, creates a barrier that prevents physical damage around yourself up to a certain amount, increases magic attack power and magic attack resistance penetration rate and area attack resistance for three turns. That's Ibarra's upgrade off of her Master of two. Generally pretty nice, uh, not too terribly much else to say there. As for Halloween Lucia, own area attack resistance plus 5, magic attack resistance penetration rate up by 20, and critical rate evasion rate up by 20. Well, overall, I think that this is... Hmm, how do I want to say this? I, I don't think it's bad. It's not bad. It's usually very rarely bad if you were to just pick apart and say some kind of... Like, some kind of little bit of complaint here. Like, overall, it's like, well, the big thing to me is Ibarra is getting a barrier for herself. At least that's the way I read it. And more HP makes her harder to kill, makes her generally maybe more su successful enough uh, to just be a little bit better. Uh, Lightning is kind of in a different direction right now that isn't particularly including her. I don't know if it's going to be enough to get there. Now, Halloween Lucia has a lot more to wear upgrade, but overall, feel, everything here feels generally pretty successful for what a character of her type would like. Uh, of course, you know, whether or not it gets there, that's always just feels like an entirely different conversation. And yeah, it, it kind of does require us to talk maybe a little bit more about potentially what is there so uh just give it a second but halloween lucia i i overall like her upgrade more because i feel like she can potentially get away by squeaking into a dark team where right now lightning feels in a different direction uh so before we talk about the thunder dragon and the resources that i spent uh i do want to continue just finish talking about the halloween units each one have gotten their limit burst upgraded uh, to be stronger and better than they were before. And uh, taking a look, I did have these up, not but a second ago. Halloween Leela basically got extra range. She got uh, increased magic attack resistance penetration rate and AOE resistance off of her limit burst. Uh, this guy ended up getting range height different change as well as AP consumption reduction after applying the effect of increasing magical damage for off of the attack and also defense penetration rate on the enemy if the poison status effect is in effect. Uh, overall, taking a look at the two oldest units, uh, Leela is the best because He's just kind of generally the best, yeah. Like, you look at this character, and I think she has still the potentially highest chance of being used to a serious degree. But, he, like, Raryu got a much bigger upgrade overall off of his first. I just don't think that most of the time he's ever going to really have too many opportunities to get use it because overall this kit feels pretty old and again earth doesn't feel like it probably has as much space for this character as wind does for halloween leela so that's my general opinion on that and of course it could turn out that these are entirely wrong and that these characters are much better than we think but my impressions next up halloween frederica who's kind of a mixed bag ap consumption down uh basically uh Three turns damage to a target, as well as or three hitter. I don't remember exactly how this one works. Uh, three turn critical evasion rate down, 
And when her HP drops low enough, she gets that one time off heal, which is cool on a tank because of the HP and potential healing up. But I don't remember this character having that much. And again, Earth doesn't feel like it has room for this character right now. I'm going to say this is a no, but numbers that are not available to me out of Calcside could very much change. And Halloween Lucia's basically can hit targets at a better height now and cancels out AP recovery, haste, and last but not least, reduces some AP on the targets that are hit by it. So yeah, over all of these, really isn't too surprising. I think Lucia and Halloween Leela are the best because they have the most high likelihood chance of being able to cast their limit burst and get those upgrades. Now, of course, there's also Dream Enhancement. So let's talk about those. Leela, uh, and again, I'm pretty sure I have these numbers correct, but if I'm ever wrong, excuse me. All right, so Leela gets AoE attack resistance of 15, healing power up of 15, hate down of three, and her height three cure now removes all weaknesses on allies within range. Probably good enough support that it's just generally good enough to get there to be recommended. Now, I'm not going to go again to say that overall I think that the total upgrade is going to make her meta. But I do think it will be good enough that the Awu gang should be pretty happy. Uh, next up, Halloween Raryu. I actually do not have that data at the current moment. So apologies, but I don't have the character and nobody's posted it yet. So... Uh, we'll update that in a later video. Uh, let's talk about Halloween Frederica next. So Halloween Frederica, magic attack resistance up by 15, fired AP up by 30, resist step, add immunity to hit effects uh, for attacks on yourself. Now, interestingly, I do think that this is pretty good because it is making her immune to one hit attacks, which is pretty good. Um, for an evade type character. But uh, with high accuracy characters out there, I don't think that it's particularly enough and Earth isn't really me the super evade thing. I, I just don't think that evasion, like short of, yes, you could probably run this at surprise and whoa, all of a sudden, then you kind of get some wins off of it. I wouldn't expect it to be too terribly reliable amazing and in the earth element i think earth is running better stuff than anyway so there's that but interesting to say the least probably the most interesting thing in her kit and halloween uh lucia strike resistance single target resistant uh strike of 15 single target resistance 10 both of those are very defensive and kind of interesting in the choices high-end accelerator large human killer uh, down added. So maybe something interesting there since he can effectively get rid of human killer, which could be pretty interesting if overall I think that unsurprisingly Halloween Lucia looks to be the best of the four. And since she's kind of the newest and has, Dark has the most flexibility to kind of put her in there, I think that it's good that she is kind of the one that ended up being the best in my but there you go and now that being said and out of the way let's talk really quickly about first off the bc and the event so first off the bc here we have a brand new thunder dragon now i think that this bc very nice bc for specific parties is a job bc for great swords uh, Swords of the Night class, and last but not least, but Strike. Uh, you're looking at Slash Attack up of 42, so it's very much a Slash BC. Reaction Block of 32, which is pretty good. And Critical Damage, which works quite nicely with Lightning of 25. Accuracy of 15 on the BC, and uh, Single Target, or Single Attack Resistance 5 for the Bestowed Unit. And then you get the Esper, of course, and the Esper is and did turn out to be a slashing base esper. Boldus could also be a pretty successful little, just little thunder esper, as he does have lightning attribute attack up. 
He also has uh, just attack up, hit rate up, flash attack up, magic resistance up, water killer up, soil critical rate, reaction pre prevention rate, and last but not least, magic damage reduction 10%. Very, 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 very unique to this Esper and this Esper alone. Very clearly, it is meant to be like Astreus's Esper because it is Thunder slash Esper. But I think that most Thunder units would be pretty happy to get this. There's enough that you can build him to be not just a slash base Esper and get some good stuff. His agility is 17, which is high for an Esper too. So uh, VC and Esper combo looks pretty nice. All things said and done. And while I do not have the VC axe, we can just head over here very quickly. Somewhere down here. Where is it? Hopefully I can find it relatively quickly. I put it up to some kind of weird number. It does have agility on the card. Attack and Last but not least, taking the look at the final piece of the new Astrius puzzle has to do in the Mog Shop and the piece of equipment that we are getting this time around. So that would be this accessory, this kind of gauntlet eat glove, which the big thing to note about this is that it does actually offer splash resistance penetration rate of 20 provided that the unit who is using its HP over 60% and also decreases healing power for three turns when an attack hits. So a pretty nice piece of equipment to go with a pretty nice Esper and VC, which is all and all just a very nice get for new Astrius to make overall his kit really feel come together once I have all of these pieces acquired. I will be Voltron. No, but I will be able to test all of this out and see if it overall makes me generally feel like it has improved the Asterius kit. Uh, but so far, you know, Asterius is up to 20 for me. Feeling pretty high success in Arena with him and Bridal Alaya and Lightning combo, which the VC generally supports. So there you go. Uh, that is a look at everything that has happened in JP in the current update. Minus one thing, which we'll just take one more refresh. See if that data has been posted. Not yet. Unfortunately, Halloween Raryu fans might be still in the coffin. And I made it through this without coffin. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully I didn't miss anything in particular, but uh, the Ultros raid beckons Odoom.